Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. It has been a while, but I'm trying to start filming again. I actually filmed a video this week that I'm gonna finish editing and post tomorrow. But this is kind of an impromptu video because I went shopping today and got so much stuff. Like, it's ridiculous. So, I figured I would give y'all a good old-fashioned haul video. If you like these videos, let me know because these are super easy to film. I just run right through mess ups and everything. I don't edit any of this. So, they're just much easier to film. But I got up at 5 o'clock this morning and started shopping. But it was cool because I was home by 9.30, I think. So... It was worth it to get up early and go ahead and get shopping. I'm sorry, like I look crazy. Like I said, I've been up since five o'clock. There was a garage sale about 40 minutes from my house, which is a little bit far for me to go, but it started at six o'clock in the morning. It was a donation garage sale, which usually means there's lots of stuff and they don't really know what they have. They just put it all out. And there's two types of donation garage sales. There's ones where everything's priced, and then there's ones where you just give a donation after you go shopping. So I figured I'd get there at six, you know, it wouldn't take up my whole day, and it would be worth the drive because there would be a lot of stuff. Well, that was a good call. There was so much stuff, and I gave them a donation of $100. I felt totally okay with giving that much because I knew I'd be able to make um, plenty of money on the stuff that I purchased. I was there for about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, and they just kept coming and take stuff from me and put in a little pile with my name on it. Now, somebody did take something from me. I had this huge, beautiful mirror and it was really heavy. So the lady put it in a different spot so it wouldn't fall over and put my name on it. And when I went to leave, I was like, where's the mirror? They were so upset someone had took it, like way more upset than I was. I was like, I go to garage sales all the time. I know how people are. You'll put some for 50 cents and they'll try to steal it. So anyway, I was like, it's cool, no big deal. But they were like really upset that somebody had took something with somebody else's name on it. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all what I got from that sale. I also went to two estate sales in town. So as soon as I was done with that one, I came home and went to two estate sales that was in town and got some good stuff over there. I'm not gonna tell y'all what I paid for each thing. I'll just tell y'all what I paid at um, the sale as a whole. So the first one, like I said, I gave a $100 donation. Sit down, relax, this might be a long video. I'm just gonna go through everything as quickly as possible. Cause also the baby is napping, so I gotta get through this before she wakes up. All right. I did get a whole box of paper bag books. So I picked these things up because I knew I would need them for the holidays. I'll show y'all real quick what I do with them. This is the only set I have made. Oh no, I do have another set Oh, uh, made. I just paint them and then paint some words on them and decorate them and they are so cute. Let me grab the other one real quick. This is another set I made the other night. How cute is this for your laundry room? So I sell these sets for $14, and then I have some other sets that I sell for 10. So between 10 and $14 for a set of three books, and they're so darn cute. That's a good seller. So whenever I can find books at a good price, I pick them up. Um, of course, these will get painted, but I really like the shape of them. Really cute. So I'll paint them a fun color, maybe gray, maybe white. I'll decide, but really cute. Um, this still has the tags on it from the store. It was $12.99. I don't know what store it's from but I can't get the paper off, but it has like a cute pattern on the glass and then it comes in this little thing and then it has it holes right here so you would put flowers right there. Cute. I don't have to do none to it, it's ready to go. 
This is another one I don't have to do anything to. It's the off-white croc with the blue label and it says Cajun Crockery. So I'm just gonna clean this one up and leave it as is. I thought this was really cute. I'll definitely paint this one unless somebody wants it the way that it is, but I liked how it had this on the handles. It looks like there's tape on it, so I have to take that off and see what it looks like. But it is ceramic under this, so even if I had to take this off, that would be okay. It's just a cute shape. I really liked it. And those are perfect to put plants in, like greenery, or even in your kitchen with some utensils in it. I've been doing really well with magazine racks. This is not wood, it feels like resin or something, but I love the little spindles on it. This would be so cute, actually painted pink in a little girl's room to put their little dolls and stuffed animals in because it almost looks like a baby crib. Cute, I um, might have to do that. <laughs> okay, Let's see what's next. This is a little big for me. I usually try to stick with the smalls, but I thought this bird cage was super adorable. It's made out of like bamboo or wicker or something like that. It's already off white, but it looks a little dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a fresh coat of white paint. Oh look, this top opens up. So it has a door and then there's a hook and the top opens up. So these are cute, like to decorate for the holidays, to hang up, put greenery in. Very cute, nice size. Okay. Somebody that got there before me got all the good baskets because I saw the pile with their name on it and they had some really good baskets. So there wasn't much left. I bought this basket. I liked it. It was a good size to either sell or even just put stuff in. I use baskets for all kind of stuff. And then I like these. These are, um, you know, the old style where you put your paper plates in, but they are so perfect just to put on the wall. I had a ton of them and I either used them all or sold them all when people want to do like basket walls. So I grabbed those. I have four of them. And then I've been going to try to paint some nativity scenes for Christmas. So you get these nativity scenes and you paint them white and distress them and it just kind of updates them. I've been wanting to do that, but usually when I find nativity scenes, they're super expensive. Just more than I'm willing to pay to even try it out and see if it sells because I've never sold it before. So I figured this was a good time to get it and see how it looks and how it comes out. So I got that one and I got this one. So I'll paint those up and with chalk paint and then distress the details back and see how they come out and see how they sell. And then Got this little thing. It's just some little lavender welcome. Let's see if it says where it's from. It doesn't have a tag on it, but I think it's cute just how it is. So I'll just put a few bucks on it and put it on my shelf. It's ready to go. It's always great when I can make it mix in some stuff that are just I can I don't have to do anything with. I can keep the price low and you know find it a new home. I got this huge brass tray box i don't know what you want to call it it is aged i will probably paint it white and distress it unless somebody messages me that they want it like this this would be a great centerpiece if you left it as is this would look so great for christmas with some garland and some berries and stuff oh red looks really good with this but it also look great uh, painted and then have all this come through. It's a good size. I would say this is like three feet maybe. You know, I love my kitchen stuff. So I love these sifters when they nice and age. I picked that up. So on my last sale, 
I don't think I have the finished product to show you, but it will be on my video that I'm gonna be posting tomorrow. So I bought two of these. I painted them white and put legs on them and made them like plant stands. <gasps> so so cute and i have somebody that messaged me they want one when i get another one and i got another one so this is already sold and i sell it for 12 to 14 i believe i don't really remember but somewhere in that price range um this goes to something else Let's see. They had so much pottery and stuff so I was just looking for shapes like I'm not looking what's on it none of this stuff is raised you know what I mean like it's not embossed or beveled or anything like that so when I paint it it's gonna be solid so I love this little coffee pot I would actually take the top off it's ceramic and put some flowers in here so this is gonna be so cute painted up a solid color so for my last sale, I did a lot of, well, a few things of the faux, a faux cement pattern, and people were really loving that. So some of these things I'll definitely do in that same look. All right, just trying to hold it, but should I put a table right here? Oh, I got a chair. Let me grab a chair real quick so I have space to put stuff. organized video this is not it this is just me last minute doing my thing mess ups and all like i said i will not edit this video you get what you get it's fun right okay these are some tarnished silver frames they have the um glass that kind of comes out i will definitely take these hideous prints out but i absolutely love this frame these frames i love tarnished silver and look how good they look it looks with white beautiful 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 so i'll probably try to find something like i know i have prints of flowers and all like put something more modern in here or maybe i'll just make a um a mat for it and somebody else can put what they want in it but i just really love these the pattern is definitely on trend like it's not grandma style these are very very pretty very heavy you can tell they're quality these are so cute so this definitely comes from a bathroom i do not like the pattern on the top so i'll paint unless somebody says hey i want it like this um i would like it if it was flat silver but it's not it has this pattern but look at this cut glass dish so cute so look adorable on somebody's nightstand dresser or even in their bathroom really really pretty and there's a set of two of them Oh, I thought this basket was so cute with these little like beads on the sides. It was in the Christmas section because it has these ribbons on here, but somebody just put them on there. So I'll cut that off. But I thought that was a really, really cute basket. That's another tip. A lot of times they use baskets to put stuff in and the baskets are for sale as well. And I just take the stuff out of it and I'll buy that basket. Okay, this dish, we're in South Louisiana. This dish reminded me of an oyster. So, I'm gonna see if I can paint it like an oyster. I think that's what they were trying to do, but it ain't really working. But it's the perfect oyster shape. It's definitely a little dish. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a little fun with this one and paint it up like a little bit, a little oyster. And this will be so cute in somebody's bathroom, for your table, wherever, to drop rings, change. Yeah, cute. I did get quite a bit of candlesticks. Um, let's see. 
these are absolutely perfect i think i'm not gonna do anything to them a lot of people are going white like me and if they need a little bit of natural wood that is perfect and they're a nice size at the top so i don't like it when they have like little candlestick tops because who uses candlesticks anymore like for me i mostly use candlesticks as risers so it already has a nice top so you can use it as a riser put some greenery put a little bird or something there you go super cute now we'll definitely sell the set together since they are matching okay these are just like little finials or something to put on the top of something or they can be feet i don't know um but i definitely want to pick them up because a lot of times i piece things together i turn something that's meant for one thing and i turn it into something else so i'm always looking for like little extra pieces to stick on stuff so this is just for me to be creative with oh my god i thought this was so cute okay it's brass and it's a butterfly and you see it has holes right here so it's meant to be like screwed on to something so how cute is this oh my god adorable so you could stick it like on a uh, like a molding by a door or i don't know like you could stick it on a um even just on a shelf like this is super cute but it does have the holes if you wanted to nail it down i love brass and i like this little butterfly Okay, these are actually for me. We always have a big Halloween party over here and they had all these napkins. So I'm like, I don't need to get napkins for the Halloween party. I already got them. And they already packaged. Like I wouldn't buy them, they were open, but they look perfectly fine. I'm pretty sure those are last year's from uh, Walmart because I remember seeing them. Okay, I love paintings. This is a real paint painting, not a reprint. It's so pretty and I want to paint the frame white because then this print will really pop it would be cute in a little girl's room it has blue and pink and then like the little cabin right here I love when I can find like a modern looking painting not like an old grandma painting so cute but I think the frame needs to be painted and then it's really gonna update the look be perfect if you just got like one skinny wall where you need something um, I always pick up wood stuff if I feel like it's something that I can paint and turn into something else because it's already made for me. So this is a nice solid wood hanger. I can paint it, distress it, and then there's nice this nice area right here to write something. So if somebody wanted me to like put their last name, mail, like whatever, I can put a quote or write something right here. So I really like this piece. It already has a little hole to hang it up on the wall. Pretty much the same idea for this piece. It is a tray. It is already made for me. So I just need to paint it up and update it and it's ready to go. And sometimes the person that buys it wants me to put like their initial or whatever on it. So I can go ahead and do that. All right. I thought these are so cute. They're very country, but I just love them. So there's two of these little girls and they have a little vest and their little gingham shirt and their little kinky hair and their little witch hats so cute farmhouse fall halloween so cute i love these so i pick those two up and hopefully they go to a new home if not i will keep them i really like these I got these little plants, one's white, one's blue. Um, I feel like this needs to be updated, this terracotta. I'm not liking the look of this. So I'll throw a little bit of white wax on there and that should update it and these are ready to go. 
I got like the leaning power of pizza going on right here. Okay. I hope I don't break nothing. Okay, Christmas tree in a red bucket. Really cute. You can never have enough little tiny Christmas trees. So I'll pick this up. Okay, I passed by these a bunch of times and didn't even see show y'all one. Look how cute. I don't know where this comes from. It definitely comes from a store. Um, I have three of them. I just put two of them down. But they have the hanging hardware on them and they have the little clips. So it would be like a little cute organizer you put up on your wall and clip pictures or notes or whatever. I'm not liking the blue like faux distress look. If you like it, that's cool. But I'll probably paint these white or black. They would definitely look pretty. Actually, I'm gonna paint them black. I think they will look better black because they'll look like metal and then all these details will really come out. I feel like they don't come out and show as good in the blue color. But this would also be cute to hang a wreath on. Like you don't need to use these hooks. You can just um, hang it up on your wall and put a little wreath and that would be cute. Okay, let's see what else we got. Try not to break anything. I love birds. I got these two birds. I'll probably paint them gray and distress them and they'll look like cement. Really, really cute. Hold on, I got a kid in here. Okay. Um, okay, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with these, but I just picked them up because nobody else was picking them up. So they had um, glass in them, that's what they're for. You put the glass casserole dish in them or whatever. But I was thinking they're tarnished silver, they're really cute. But I was thinking they'd be even cuter, paint it white and then put like a wood base and then it would be like a little tree. You see the detail? That was my idea for them. I don't know if it's gonna work. You know, sometimes I have ideas and they actually don't work, but we'll see. And then this one too, but this one, I think I would put the, um, it doesn't have like a nice bottom like the other one. So I think I might have to put the wood on top. So you'd have this little base and then a wood top and that would be cute. It actually might look, no, see this one's kind of rainbow-ish. I don't like when the, the tarnish has like a rainbow look. Let's see. Yeah, this one kind of has it too. I like it when it has more of like a brown look. So I will um, most likely paint these white and add some wood to them and they will be so stinking cute with all this detail. Oh, I got another one. This one's definitely not cute. So probably same deal for this one. Um, not as cute as the other one, so I don't even remember picking that up. I got some faux um, fruit that way, just to help me stage some stuff because I like to stage my items when I take pictures of them. So, this will look really cute in a bowl. Let's see, let me stick them back here in this bowl. So I picked up some pans. Let me show y'all. I got this little one with the little handles. I got these three, they basically all the same. They nice and thick. And I'm gonna show y'all what I do with them. So cute. Put this on the side. Piles of stuff everywhere. This one is not done, but you'll be able to see the vision. So I take them and I put legs on them. So it becomes like this little stool, tray, little thing. It is absolutely adorable. So I'll distress this. This is wood legs. So you'll see the wood coming through when I distress this. You'll be able to see the metal a little bit coming through. These are so cute. I believe I sell these for $20 around that price range. Don't hold me to that. Um, but yeah these are adorable i love 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 taking kitchen items 
and turn them in, into something different. I just, I don't know. I'm ex I don't cook, but I am inspired by kitchen items, especially, especially vintage kitchen. Tarnished silver tray. So, so cute. And it has like that embossed uh, design on the inside. It's hard to see because it's so tarnished. But these look really good when you paint them and distress them because all of that stuff just pops. And if you want anything before I paint it, just let me know. If you are local, if you are local and you want any of this stuff, if you follow me, just go ahead and let me know and we can figure something out. That's why I don't want to say like what I sell them for because I'm not like always 100% sure on the fly. Um, but just message me and we'll figure it out. Okay, I always pick up apothecary jars when I find them. I have these all over my house, especially in my bathrooms. Put cotton balls, Q-tips, all that kind of stuff. They look so cute in little sets together with all your everyday items. tarnished silver tray. Look at that detail on the edge. So, so cute. I love it. Actually, I think this was from somewhere else. I think this was from one of my other sales today, but that's okay. Really, really pretty. I like this one. This detail on the side is like super thick and nice. You can tell this was like an expensive tray probably back in the day. It's not like that, that thin silver stuff. This is a wall hanging. It already has the hardware. It's a really cute, trendy look. It kind of looks great, just like it is. It might be like a little bit too much going on for me. Um, I think it would look better painted with a fresh coat of white paint. I'm trying to see. Looks like somebody might have tried to paint it already. And they just kind of splotched white on. Or maybe it came like this. I don't know. Oops, mice here. Hold on. Sorry y'all, I had to stop again. I had a customer come pick up their stuff. But don't worry, they didn't buy any of the goodies. I'm showing y'all today. Okay, at my last sale, I had two of these and they sold right away. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I did that full cement look that I was telling you about on here. These are so cute. She actually sent me a picture, she already put them up. She put them in her laundry room and put her little Tide Pods and stuff in them. Super cute idea, I didn't even think about that. That would be cute. Oh. Also, they look good in a bathroom. Anywhere you have stuff to put, they're really cute. You could actually use them as a candy dish as well. That's what they're made for. I got this rolling pin. It's kind of janky, but it don't really matter. Like, I'm not going to use it for real. It's just going to be for decoration, so it's cool. I'll probably, like, straighten, at least straighten the handles out. It's actually already a great color for Christmas, so I don't think I need to paint it. If I do paint it, I'll probably just um, paint the handles white and distress the red back and probably put like a coat of antiquing on here just so it looks a little bit more cohesive and not so splotchy, you know what I mean? I love when I find these old tin cans. They are so, so cute. Um, oh wait, there's stuff in here. I don't know what this is for. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I would definitely probably just use it like this and stick some flowers in it, but it does come with the top if you just wanted to put it um, like this, just for a display, you know, just like a little vintage kitchen item. Oh, this piece is so pretty. Y'all, <gasps> might have to keep this one. Tarnished silver top. Now this, this is the tarnished silver I like. You see there's no of that like rainbow color. That means this is expensive. I don't know what this is, 
if you know what it is, let me know. But look at this cut glass bottom. This is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is pretty. You could even, the top is attached, you could open it up and put some flowers in there. This would look so good with some pink flowers. Tarnished silver and pink go so great together. Hey, hold on, got another kid. All right, I'm back. Y'all see? Y'all see why I did not make videos during quarantine? It's too crazy around here. It's calm down, the baby did start going to daycare, so that's why I have like a little bit more time, but I'm still waiting on three kids to start school. So, <sighs> y'all, I'm not gonna complain. We all healthy. Okay, look at this too. The little legs and y'all look at that it opens so you know what i'm gonna do with this i'm gonna paint it white i'm gonna distress it and i'm gonna reupholster this little top and it is going to be the cutest little thing ever i have some grains that i might put that on oh my god i just had an idea i have this um sack and it's like Christmas color, like the logo and all on it is red. <gasps> that would be so cute to put this on the top and paint the bottom red and just like make it Christmas all the way. Okay, I'm gonna think about that one. Got some ideas though. Okay, you might be wondering what I do with these things. Let me see if I have one to show y'all. I do. Okay. These are already sold. Sorry if you want one of these because they I have two of them and they're already sold. So what I do is I make a bottom for them. Let me go grab it real quick. Here's the one that I sold the other night. Actually, the two people that ordered one, they want some little feet on it. So I put like a little spindle feet on it and it's really cute. This is just cypress. It's a nice thick piece of cypress. Cypress is a very popular wood around here. Okay, do not break something that somebody already bought. Um, and yeah, so I'll make a bottom for it and it is a kilo cloche and I sell these for $14. I do know the price on that. Let me show y'all this real quick while I was over there. So I keep talking about this faux um, uh, cement look, that idea that people are loving. So this was green before. And doesn't it look just like cement now? So yeah, I'm definitely gonna do some more of that on some of these pieces that I got that I said I was gonna paint. Oh, I've never gotten this before. So we'll see how this sells. Um, it was just a kick topper. So instead of the cl small cloche, this will be like an extra large cloche. This is actually a kick topper. So I'll put a little cypress bottom for this. And this will be so cute. Um, I mean, you can put food in it if you want. I put um, butcher block oil on it to make it like food safe. But I would totally just put like some greenery or like some of those fake uh, fruits and stuff that I had showed y'all a minute ago. Um, I would put fake stuff in it and just put it out on the table or on a china cabinet or something like that. That'll look cute. Okay. I'm going pretty quick here. But I like to use these things to put flowers in. 
really cute. I wish it was like a little more aged. That would be great. But still cute. And if it doesn't sell, I can always paint it white and distress it, and it will definitely sell. If you wonder why I paint stuff white and distress it, it's because that's what sells. And that's what I do unless you ask, ask me to do something different. Okay, here's some more candlesticks. Here's another set. Like I said, it's already good size. They got a nice base. I just need to paint these a color. Um, it doesn't have any raised areas. This is just flat. So once I paint it, like you won't be able to see any of that. So those two. Y'all, my hair. Oh, bad. Should have put a hat on. Um, here's another one. Um, the, the grapes on it is not raised once again, but all this is so that'll look really cute once it's distressed. I did see a lot of candlesticks, but a lot of the raised stuff was kind of outdated. Um, so I didn't pick those up. Like it has to be the right candlestick. I'm not going to pick up just any candlestick. And what I've been doing a lot too is if it has like a candlestick base, a candlestick top to put a candlestick in it but it's kind of flat that I can put like a round piece of wood on it. I don't know if y'all gonna understand what I'm saying. So if I can put like, it would be much um, smaller than this, but if I can put a piece of wood on it to make a top like this, then I do that. Cause then it, it turns it into more of a riser than a candlestick. I hope y'all kind of understand what I'm saying. I have a vision for them. We're gonna rescue the candlestick the outdated candlesticks. Okay, I did, somebody stole one of my mirrors, but I did get this one. It is just a nice, simple mirror, and I'm thinking of even adding another piece of wood. I love the size of it. I just wish the frame was a little bit thicker. So I think if I added another piece of wood all the way around, that would be really, really cute. Okay, y'all, y'all seeing all my mess. Let's see what else I got from that sale. Oh, these. Definitely paint these. I don't even know how many is in here. I think it's a set of four. And they get smaller and smaller and smaller. So I'm not going to show y'all the whole set. But I really like the shape of them. It looks like a vintage croc. These will get painted, of course. We're going to get rid of, you know, the, uh, it's, it's a little too country, you know, it's country, country. Yeah, there are four of them. Let's see if I can pull out the smallest one. I can't get the smallest one out, but yeah, they're all the same. So this is a set of four. I'll paint them up, make them look super cute and sell them as a set. <gasps> oh, you know what I just ordered? I, I got some stamps and they look like this. These are not stamps. I actually printed these, but the stamps look like this. So they're called crockery stamps. So I'll be able to paint those. Then I can put a stamp, an old vintage crockery stamp on it. OMG, that's gonna look so cute. That's what I'm gonna do. Yes, yes. See, I'm just coming up with ideas while I'm showing y'all stuff. That's going to be cute. So I can put the stamps in any color that I want, and it's not going to look like a label. It's going to be, like, stamped on there. <gasps> All right, last item from that sale, the donation sale. There's going to be a fight over this, probably, because everybody wants a bright box right now like every time I get a bread box people message me for like literally months after and ask me if I got a bread box now this isn't as cool as the ones that I normally get I like the roll top vintage ones but um that's not what this is it's flat it's definitely a newer I wouldn't say it's newer because of this but you know it's not vintage but the good thing about it having a nice flat surface is if somebody wanted me to uh, write something on it, like 
give us this day our daily bread or I don't know, some kind of quick kitchen quote or something, there's a great surface for that. So this so will get painted white, slightly distressed. I'll sell it and see if anybody, I mean, it's probably already sold. I have a list of people that's messaged back. Um, so you don't even need to message me about this one. I will message you and um, see who wants it because some of the people on my list may not want it because it's not exactly the style that I normally sell, but I know this will sell. It smells like curtains. Somebody had like their potpourri or something in there. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is it. So, that is it from the donation sale. Then I came home and I went to an estate sale in town. I spent $65 at this sale. And that's some pretty cool stuff though. It was the last day of the sale. Everything was half price. They were making deals. They've been having this sale for a few weeks now. I've been, I don't know how many times. Um, I got this picture frame. Now the donation sale, there were tons of picture frames, but I look for a nice frame that has a hanger and a thingy on the back. So that way all your options are covered. And a lot of the frames they had didn't have this. So I didn't pick them up. Um, but this one's really pretty and gold looks amazing, painted white in distress. So that'll be the plan for this one. You can tell it's a nice quality frame. And there's so many frames. I'm really picky about the ones that I do pick up. I want them to be nice quality. Y'all, this is cute. It's actually for caviar. It's tarnished silver. Really, really pretty. I will keep this as is. Adorable. I wouldn't put food in it, but this would be so cute on somebody's dresser or vanity to put their jewelry and all in. All right, I found some. There was tons of Christmas stuff, but I didn't pick up much. But I saw this sled. This needs to be taken off. This is made out of MDF. It got wet, something. It's all bubbly. You know how MDF is. But hopefully I can get it off. If not, I'll put something over it. The base is super thick metal and it's all rusty and perfect already. So imagine this with a fresh wood top. This is going to be a really, really cute sled. Yeah, I was excited about this. Because you'll find these, but it's like that thin metal, cheap metal. But this one, this one's old. And this one's made out of good metal. So we're going to give it a new life. And we're going to find it a new home. Y'all love this. Love this. It's actually a trophy. So this side, I can't make out what it says. But it is a trophy. But you can't really, unless you get up close, you don't even notice that there's writing on there. Um, you could always turn it this way where there's no writing, but it's like perfectly tarnished, ready for some floral. Look how good, this is why I like tarnished silver. Look how look good it looks against white. I love this. I love this so much. So at my last sale, brass and copper were super popular. Brass and copper together. Look at this. I actually have somebody that might be interested in this, so I got to message them. Look at the handles. How gorgeous. I think it's perfectly aged. I will not paint it unless, like, for some reason it doesn't sell. Then I will paint it white and distress it, but I think it's great. Y'all. Put a Christmas tree in here. OMG, that would be adorable. Or you put it by your fireplace with some logs in it. Yeah. Ooh, almost got my finger stuck. That one's cute. That'll sell. Um, okay. I got this wood base. I'll probably put like some kind of box or something on here to make it like a raised planter but look at these like hand carved legs I just love them 
I will not paint them. I like the color that they are. They are perfectly aged. I absolutely love them. It just needs something on the top. I think it's like too ornate for a stool. I don't know. I mean, if you want it and you want to tell me what to do, that's cool too. But I was thinking some sort of box would be good. And I would definitely paint it white because I won't be able to match the look of this. So I would just go ahead and do the two-tone look. So wood base, it'll have the white like this be really really cute also will look great with a Christmas tree look once it gets close to Christmas everything is a Christmas tree holder like I love just sticking Christmas trees and everything I actually I just told y'all about my crockery stamps that I got and I had this in mind to try it out with so I'll probably paint this gray make it look like cement it's ceramic and put a crockery stamp on it and it's gonna be so perfect. Um, you could put definitely some floral or some um, utensils in it. <coughs> this basket, I am not doing anything. I think it's a perfect vintage blue color. It's already distressed, I absolutely love it. This will look adorable in a kid's room with stuffed animals, books, whatever. It has a little, little two handles on the side. It is nice and long. I really, really like this basket. So I'm selling this basket as is. I'm not touching it. It is perfect, 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 the color that it is. I have this white ceramic um, tray. I just thought it was really pretty, a really nice size. It does have lots of chips in it. So I thought that would lend itself perfectly to do that cement look that I've been talking about. And this will look really, really great. It's, you can tell it's a nice quality um, piece of ceramic. It is old. That's why it probably has so many like little chips in it, but nothing so big um, that it's not usable. I mean, it still looks great. And once I paint it to look like cement, those chips will just add so much character. It'll look great. I sold this cute little, um, actually it's going to be in my video tomorrow, this cute little girl's um, chest. And so I thought this would be perfect to do like a boyish one. It opens up and it's wood. None of this is raised up. I'll just kind of sand it down a little bit. And it's the perfect it's flat surface to be able to put a quote or a name or whatever. So I'm definitely thinking boy for this one. I could actually even put some holes in it and do like a thick jute rope handle. That would be cute. So you'll hear me talking about, I sold this, I sold that. This reminded me of this because I'm super picky about what I pick up. Like I don't want to just pick up anything. I want to pick up stuff that I know will sell. So if I sold it before and so it's something people have shown interest in, then I'll definitely gravitate, gravitate more towards those items um okay the last thing i got at that estate sale is for me i've been eyeing this thing for months as soon as they post pictures of the estate sale i messaged them about it and oh wait i have it the wrong way they said it was 45 dollars and i'm like eh. then i show up at the estate sale let me see if y'all can see they have it priced for 75 dollars um, no thank you. So, of course, when I show up today, it's still there. And it's hidden in the corner. So, I actually paid, checked out, was bringing stuff to my car, and I saw it. So, I'm like, what is your best price? And they said, $25. And I said, sold. This I'm keeping. They said there's a place in town where I might be able to get this glass fixed. Because you see, it has a pattern on it. But I don't know if I want to. I think I might just take all the glass out. I just love the detail of it. And it's um, gonna go over my door. I'm thinking the door right there that leads to the water, it will look perfectly over it. And um, that's 
what it was. It was a transom over a door back in the day. So we'll bring it back over a door, but yeah. Y'all, it's like super thick and nice. This is a really great piece of vintage architecture. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now, the next estate sale I went to, I've been there I don't know how many times, too. Um, today was half price day. And y'all, this desk, I'll bring it in closer and show it to you. I just felt like I had to save it. It was so cute. It needs some TLC. I am not painting it. Um, I'm just going to fix it up and leave it as is because it's already so perfect. So they said $20. I'm like, yeah, I just, I have to take it for $20. It's so cute. And it's a good size. So, um, like it will look great in the little kids room to use as a desk. Or I think it's so small, it would actually be a cute end table. It did have a roll top, but um, I'm not gonna try to fix that. Like I'll probably just maybe sell this like this or whatever. I'm not gonna fix the roll top on it. So at the end of this video, I'll kind of like add in a film of it closer up, but it's adorable, 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 adorable. Um, okay, and then I bought this mirror, I mean, door. Ah! Y'all see it? I really like the size of it. You see it's tall and it's narrow. So my idea is to put some rods here, maybe like some little spindle rods or something. And I want to sand it down a little bit more. It's like nice and chippy already. But I'll probably sand it down a little bit more. I definitely like when all the edges are raw wood. I'm um, gonna leave the doorknob. It's brass and cute. The um, oh my god, the the hardware right here is cute too. So anyway, I'll put some some rods on it right here to make it into a blanket ladder, and then the top I'll leave open. It'll be so cute with a wreath on it. Let me show y'all. And I'll also do a close up of this one as well so y'all can really see it. So wreath, blankets at the bottom, so cute. Come on, my, <coughs> excuse me, something was dusty. <laughs> so I, yeah, I spent $30 at that one. A lot of money then oh, I was not planning on buying this stuff but they twisted my arm so I bought it y'all I bought these vintage Cypress posts I had to go unload my car and go back and get them because I didn't have any room I'm gonna show y'all those hold on one minute they're still in my car I haven't taken them out y'all look at this amazing amazing chippiness i have eight of them so you might be looking at these and thinking oh what you gonna do with that i just have like an endless amount of possibilities that i feel like i can do with them some of the bottoms need to be cut off a little bit they were definitely you know actually used so they have a little bit of water damage but i'll just cut a few inches off and they'll be good to go um so i'm thinking i'm gonna turn this camera around So I like see an endless amount of possibilities for these. I'm thinking you can put them like just if you're trying to add character to your house. Like my house was built 15 years ago and I'm trying to add, you know, more character into the house. So if I wanted to do like a faux um, post somewhere, it would be great to like cut them in half. And like maybe on the edge of like an entertainment center to do like a faux post on each side that would be super cute and then i thought my husband would be like you bought what you spent how much money like this is not included in the prices I already told y'all i paid sorry i paid up for these um but when i sent him the pictures he's like oh my god i can use that as table legs so he's been making this um 
custom cypress table. He has, I can actually go show y'all the wood. It's really cool. And that's been his little project. I hadn't been involved. That's what he wanted to do. But now that he's talked about using these as the legs for the table in our dining room, I'm like, okay, that's amazing. I need this table done. So imagine these chippy white legs and then I'll go show y'all the wood. It's gonna be all kind of got it covered up. But these are the pieces he is going to be using to make our tabletop. So I think those legs would just be so perfect with this wood. And the plan is to just put a clear coat, like a lot of clear coats on everything. So that way we keep all the character and um, protect it, um, you know, and don't, don't change it up too much. And I think that's going to look so, so good. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, if you are interested in any of the posts, you can let me know, but I will not be selling any of them until my husband gets home and picks out the ones that he wants to keep. Um, yeah, so y'all have a great day. I had a super great day shopping. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.